Hey, good morning guys. Today I'm at the Little Lake Creek Wilderness area and we'll be exploring the trails back here. It, it's a wonderful place to explore. I plan to find a spot to set up my hammock and then use a hobo stove to make egg coffee. I haven't had egg coffee, well, in, in quite a few years. Uh, join the adventure! When selecting a stream for drinking water, I'll pick a site where the water is moving. In this case, the water is brown because of all the silt in it. So I'm going to filter out some of the biggest particles with this cloth. So this is how I do it. Carefully get the water. Try not to stir up the silt. Then take the cloth over the container and then pour the water into your other container. I made my hobo cooker out of a paint can that I cut the bottom off of and then I put a series of holes in it and then strung wire through the bottom about an inch above the bottom. And uh, today I'm putting charcoal in it because it's been quite rainy out here and I want to really get a hot fire quickly. So I'm putting some charcoal in it and uh, a couple pieces of twigs and then I'm going to put it down here and let's see it get started. Yeah, nothing like self-lighting charcoal. Okay, the coals are white, so I can put the water on. We'll see how long it takes to boil in this burner. Let's get it right like that. That should work. Yep, that does it. Well, the water heats. Bear and I are going to take a siesta, aren't we, Bear? Oh. Bear decided to jump out of the hammock while I was sleeping and, and climb on that little tree. I think he's impatient for the water to start boiling. Well, Bear, the water's simmering. It's about time. I'm going to take about uh, three tablespoons of coffee that are in here and one egg and break the egg. I'm going to mash the egg. There. Oop, yep, yeah, the egg's all smashed. Now I mix it together. And the, the key to this beer is you mix it all up and the egg and the eggshell sweeten the coffee and also hold it together so that it um, won't float in the water when I just pour the whole mixture in the water. So I'm gonna put you down so I can mix this better. And once it's all mixed up, so the the grounds are all part of the egg mass. Once that's all ready, should be just about ready now. Yep. Take the lid off. Okay. You can see the coffee grounds mixed with the egg. And I'm going to stir that up just a little bit and let it go to a rolling boil for about three minutes and then take it off the heat. And when it's, when it's off of the heat, it needs to settle for maybe 15 minutes or so. By then it should be cooler and it'll be ready to drink. While the uh, water's heating, I'm going to cut an orange in half, take out the inside, and use this to make orange muffins. And these are going to be fantastic. If you've never had orange muffins over a fire, 
you are in for a treat. Anyway, you cut the orange apart and then you take out the inside. And I'll show you this. It's really neat to do. Really simple. I'm eating the orange out. Mm. And taking Bisquick that I mixed with some brown sugar. Uh, and then I add a little bit of raisins. A few raisins to the mixture. And mix that all up. And I also like to add sunflower seeds. So I have a really yummy mixture here. Then I take that mixture and I spoon it into the orange. Spoon it into the orange. Mix it up a little bit. And I add a little bit of boiled water clean water, sterilized water. Okay, I've added the water and then mix this up. And when it becomes a nice paste, then I put it on the uh, hobo oven, the hobo stove, and you are going to see some muffins that you wouldn't believe. Put a few more sticks in the oven and it's about time to put the orange in, and in a little while, in a few minutes, we'll have a nice orange muffin. You sure like to watch the fire, Bear. I wonder why your cousin is named Smokey. Let's... the, the coffee looks like it's about ready. I'm going to pour it into our cup. Ooh, that looks good. Yummy. Here, want a taste? You have the first taste. Yeah, you like that? Tasty. When you have a chance, try egg coffee. You'll enjoy it. This cup is, is sort of sweet, although no sugars have been added. Um, it is smooth. It's not at all acid tasting. Uh, it sort of has a, a woodsy flavor. Now maybe that came from the smoke and the fire that was cooked over, or maybe it, the woodsy flavors because I, I collected the water from the stream and it's not chlorinated. Anyway, it, it feels wholesome and relaxing, and it just it helps me connect to the beauty of being outdoors. Okay, Bear, let's check to see if the muffin's ready. Oh, wow, that's going to be tasty. Yep. Just about done. Yeah, the, uh, the orange rind keeps it from burning on the bottom side and makes it nice and juicy inside. Want the first bite? Mm, that looks yummy. You'd have the first bite there. Mmm, not bad. This is so tasty. You've got to make these if you haven't had these before. Wow.